SF has a drug problem. SF has a cleanliness problem. SF has an education problem. SF has an anti-tech problem. SF has a fundamentally political problem. So the question is, how do we solve it? I still live in San Francisco. My name is Gary Tan, and I'm the head of Y Combinator. Y Combinator is the first and probably the number one startup incubator in the world by many measures. Not being in San Francisco seems to lead to failure and death. And one of the things we care a lot about for founders is we want them to be as successful as possible. And there are just so many agglomeration effects for founders, especially first-time founders. Well, we basically make every YC company come for 12 weeks. So we give about half a million dollars to teams of one, two, or three people, often with just an idea. And we're really interested in funding the earliest possible people. And a lot of those people go on to create incredible unicorn companies. Yeah, I think one of the best things that 20-somethings can do is actually move to the places of the highest concentration of the smart people. We're talking about parallel education, which is relevant to your point about algebra and public middle schools. The reason why they removed algebra from middle schools is this really misguided idea that if you detrack, if you put students of all the different levels into the same class, the smart kids are going to pull up uh, the kids who are behind. And in practice, that just isn't true. We can't allow the political machine to just you know, get the worst possible outcomes. Like, let's create more growth engines. Let's create more progress. Let's create more technological process. We have to accelerate through this. And at the same time, we need to worry about media. We need to worry about politics. We need to worry about academia. And we need to pull those people along. And so you're absolutely right, Balaji. We need our own parallel media. We need our own machine. And it has to be built in the image of this growth mindset because, and we need a lot more technology to do it. So what's next for San Francisco? We've stated the problem, we've outlined the political machine, and we've talked about how we've replaced some pieces of that political machine. Specifically, we have a parallel media now with Elon's Twitter or X. Getting a parallel media was a key piece, uh, and it wasn't done through voting, it was by building. Voting is important as it sets the laws and policies of our society, but on its own, it just replaces the elected officials. We need to replace the unelected parts of the system as well. Building parallel education, nonprofits, media, unions, and that's what the Network State Conference is about. Each replacement doesn't have to be a one-to-one, -one, but it probably should be internet first and standalone in terms of its business model but also interlocking with the others. That's a possible recipe for reforming San Francisco and building the alternative tech political machine. And if it works in SF, it will work everywhere. And the cool thing about it is this is just getting started. Oh, this is great. Thank you, man.